Hey guys, Jibber here, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We're uh, still heading through. Uh, we, we actually have quite a ways to go, um, all the way across Hyrule. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be a bit. But I could, I, I definitely could take this opportunity to talk. Although I have no idea what to talk. About. I guess I could talk about uh, stuff to do with the realm. So I have a lot of project plans. And I did hint at at least one of them in my most, was it my most recent video? In one of my recent GW videos. Um, there will not be a GW video coming out this week. Instead, I'm going to be going back to the Minecraft Survival series that I used to do. I'm, I'm going to be recording an episode for that, which, um... Well, actually, I'm not gonna say anything. Well, yeah, it's it's probably coming out tomorrow, so I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah. But um, you'll see from the title of it yeah. what I'm doing in that video, so shouldn't be that hard to find out. Yeah. <sighs> but I'm excited to get back into that series as well. Yeah. Seeing as, you know, I, there, it's one of many that I haven't yeah. gone back to in a while. In fact, I haven't... Oh, oops. I haven't gone onto that world yeah. for, like, over a year now, I think. So, it's, it's gonna be kind of weird. I'm excited, though. Um, as for GW, one thing I do want to say is that... Another reason we're not releasing, or I'm not releasing a video this week, is because, oh boy, it's a big project. It, what I'm doing is a big project, and it might even take until uh, next week. I have no clue. I, I don't really have a proper way to measure the time it'll take. I'm just gonna say, definitely nothing this week. Maybe nothing next week from GW. Hopefully, uh, it's sooner rather than later, but yeah, I can't confirm anything. Um, and then I did want to talk about other series we're going to be doing. I still can't confirm anything, uh, any of the newer games that are coming out this year, or that have come out this year, because I still don't have any way to get them. Easier, reliable way to play them, something like that. I'm starting to think that instead of buying a OLED, I should get a micro SD card for this Switch. But you know, this Switch isn't even technically mine, it's my family's, and I do want my own. Because a big complaint from my brothers is that I use it a lot, which I guess I do, and I should make an effort. Yeah. to um, let them use it a little more. Yeah. I really feel bad about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and get my own yeah. so that they can use it whenever they want. And who knows, maybe I'll just make, maybe I'll just get a really big micro SD card. In fact, uh, I think yeah. after a, a few extra games, Oh, hello. I think after a few extra games, I was gonna actually buy, like, a terabyte of extra storage for a, uh, or a micro SD card with a terabyte of extra storage. Or at least save up for one. So that I could, you know, gr get a lot of games on the Switch. I will still have to play a couple games on this Switch until I finish them, like, probably Breath yeah. of the Wild. I don't think I'll be able to... Well, maybe. I'm gonna see if I can... Or I'm gonna try and carry the save data over. Yeah. If I can't, then that really sucks, but... You know, I should be able to. I should have cloud storage ah. on here, so... One other thing that will be difficult is moving my Switch Online subscription. 
because I have a family subscription under my dad's name, which means that all of my accounts are currently part of my dad's family group. I do want to eventually move them to set up my own family group and get a, get a subscription under that uh, under the name of the head of that family group, that, or whatever I call it. Huh. But, um, yeah, for now it's like, I don't know, I just, I'm still paying for it, obviously, because my, my dad was the one who was, or I was the only one who was willing to pay for it. In fact, it was my idea to get Switch Online Plus, you know what's funny about that? Like, literally, a few days after I purchased it, or maybe it was like a week, I don't know, uh, that the uh, February Direct happened, and I saw, and I found out about the Mario Kart DLC, and I got it, I got it for free, kinda, because I already had a Switch Online Plus subscription. I do eventually want to buy the DLC legit as well, just because, you know, I I want to have it even if I end up just not using Switch Online anymore. Same thing with the Happy Home Paradise DLC for Animal Crossing, but, you know. Oh yeah, and of course I'm going to have to eventually get my own copies of Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, Mario Kart 8, sadly. Sadly, because I'm gonna have to re restart my progress on 100%. Maybe. I, I don't think it's possible to move save data between different game cards. I'm, I'm gonna have to look that up. But, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to restart most of my progress on every game. It shouldn't be that bad for some games, but Breath of the Wild, I'm... I have a decent chunk of 100% process done, and it will suck to get rid of it, but hey, it'll be worth it. I'll be able to take the games with me eventually when I move out. Uh, oh yeah, I also, um, well, you know what, never mind. It's nothing. Uh, I'm probably gonna talk about that once I eventually start playing Eat Deluxe on my uh, on the channel. But um, or once I start playing it again. Honestly, one thing I, I'm gonna talk about my hopes for Breath of the Wild too. Uh, obviously, the main thing is like. Oh, let's, let's get dungeons. And I had an idea for that. Yeah. What if the key items were kind of like the rooms? Except you have to go through actual dungeons to get them. And... That's kind of based off of... Uh, the idea that... Because technically all of the rooms are key items. You, you you just get them really easily. It's like, it's not that hard to get them, but they're all key items. And I was and I just thought, hey, what if you you actually had to get through part of a dungeon to unlock a key item that functions similarly to a rune, like say it's the new version of the bomb. Speaking of which, I do hope they allow it to function in the same way as the. Um, remote bombs so that I can keep wind bombing even in Breath of the Wild 2. Because it would suck if I couldn't. I, I love wind bombing. And of course that obviously wouldn't be the deal breaker for me, but you know, I'd just be kinda sad because it's fun. And honestly hilarious. But um another hope? I hope and of course they're expanding it upwards, but I hope they also expand downwards and outwards a little bit because there are these little cliffs. There are these cliffs here, there are some mountains that you can't access. And you could put more islands in the ocean. 
And there's even these things right here, which you're, for some reason, not, a not even able to climb on this one. For some reason. I have no idea why. But yeah, it's, I, I hope they expand outward at least a little bit. And that's really my hopes. That, that's the extent of my hopes. Oh yeah, maybe better graphics as well. Like, don't really know how you improve on this. And also, if they do end up releasing it on a different console, at least release it on the Switch as well. Because I've seen a lot of people saying, oh, it might be delayed due to... Uh, d due to a new console being released. That's a possibility. And I don't find that very likely. At least, I hope not. And if they do end up releasing it alongside a new console, I hope similarly to Breath of the Wild being released on the Wii U as well. They also release it on uh, the Switch. Because obviously I'm I'm buying a Switch OLED. I'm not going to have the money to buy a whole new console just to play Breath of the Wild 2. Right at the moment. Uh, and if they do get, if they do put, or if they do make a new console for Breath of the Wild, of course I'm going to buy it eventually, but like, I, want, I want to play Breath of the Wild 2 as soon as possible. Which basically means um, I'm gonna be pre-ordering it, obviously. And if I don't get it before, uh, if I don't get it same day as the release date, if it takes a little bit, I'm going to be avoiding spoilers like poison, like it's nuclear waste. Any spoiler, I might even stay off. Stay off of YouTube for a little bit, although that's highly unlikely. Because I, I just... I can't get enough of YouTube. There's some great content. <laughs> Including my... No, I'm joking. My, to be honest, my content's not the greatest. I enjoy making it, but... You know, I, I do understand I really need an editor. That's a big thing. That I've heard a lot from my friends. But, like, again, I, and I feel like I've expressed this before, I want to get an editor, yeah. and some of my friends have even offered to be my editor for free, but I, I don't want to say, I, I don't want to hire someone ha. to do genuinely hard work for me, and then just not pay them anything. I'd feel horrible. I, I would not feel like a good person ha. for doing that. I'm basically just following my train of thought and talking. That's all I'm doing. Huh. Oh yeah, I... Yeah. One thing with the Master Sword, I... Actually... I find yeah. it interesting that they chose to break it. Because throughout all of Hyrule's history, the only time it's been partially damaged... Yeah. Is during the Great Calamity, and that's when it was fighting Guardians. So it's kind of established that the Malice is similar to Acid, but it wasn't it wasn't powerful enough to actually corrode the Blade of Evil's Bane. And then the new footage comes along, and lo and behold, Ganondorf has become powerful enough that his form of Malice has corroded the Master Sword. It's just like, I'm excited yeah. for the story and the gameplay. Oh right, we're gonna have to fight a Hinox here in a sec. Yeah. 
restaurants on the fridge. Yeah. I'm pretty close to the last Divine Beast. Hang on. Do I even have... Free the Divine Beast. Alright. So, um, over there. All the way over there. Jeez. And here he is. The High Hawks. <laughs> Whose life we will be ending. Better than yeah. That's for the nice halberd. It's probably better than this. By a little bit, by a little bit. And I can't hold any more bows. Frankly, I don't need a soldier's bow, so. setting just because it's so full of rooms and it feels well, it, it feels I can't really place a feeling on it okay so obviously there's this whole part of it which is really cool I, I like that they added scaffolding because this obviously was a dig site and I think this has been theorized to be where they found Divine Beast Varudania? Or, sorry. What was it? Divine Beast Vanaboris. And I'm actually, looking at this, I'm inclined to agree. Because that looks a lot like that. that well, actually... I might have to look at the cutscene again, but I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be it. I'm pretty sure that's what they meant uh, for that particular spot to be. And it would make sense that it is. Whoa! I heard that back there. Oh, that was Choo Choo's. Um, Alright. That guy... I'm, I'm leaving that guy behind for now. Huh. Alright, I'm gonna get to the Gerudo yeah. stable, and then we're gonna end off the episode. And then next time we're gonna yeah. get the Wasteland Tower. 
I won't forget this time. I don't think I forgot with the Elden Tower. Oh gosh. There was a magnetic holder. All right. Well, that was much more fun. That, that was a much more fun way to clear away the boulders. Yeah. I should almost. I should be almost there. episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Why am I doing this sort of outro? Uh, but that's about it for today, guys. Uh, I cannot remember. Oh, no. Um, I forgot what my outros are. <laughs> Bye. See you in the next one. <laughs>